Bro, what the f happened to our face? <laughs> well, hello there. I'm Sean Thomas, and we're the Nineers. I was way off. Yeah, you were. <laughs> oh. Well. Anyways, we're about to react to uh, top ten anime betrayals, and I think this is uh, the videos by VinnyTube. And we'll leave um, the original link of the video in the description because I think we forgot to do that last time for the other video. Um, so, because like this is his top ten anime betrayals. Yeah, yeah. This I we'll we'll see if we agree with them. We'll go yeah. through them. We and, may disagree, but um, as I do so well. <laughs> let's let's first we'll see how many of these we've actually seen, and then we'll go how many we agree with. And but, then uh, we'll change our faces back to normal right now. Okay, without further ado, let's check it out. Let's run and see what this man has in store for us. Time out, let me click it. Okay. Ready? Yep. Let's run it. Attack of Titan has to be up Dude. there. He's in, there's like a few in Attack of Titan. In a medium that's been around for so long and that's given us so many different tales, Oof. it's a given that anime will be chock full of betrayals. Some of the most well-known characters of that Oof. as a claim to fame, in fact. <laughs> it's always a major damn. turning point when that seemingly <laughs> harmless guy turns out to be a super badass on the villain side. But the question oh, yeah. is, which of the betrayals are the best? Honestly, that, that's a question that, uh, that's impossible to answer given how a, different okay, people... Okay, so they're showing some have, uh... <laughs> I uh, yeah. So they're showing one piece and they're showing uh, some bleach, which Is I honestly am not caught up on either one. Yeah, yeah so I, I don't know those well, tastes are and how different the shows they've Bleach watched are. However, far, what I'll be going over today it. are the ten betrayals that really stayed with me throughout the years. For me, these are some of the most memorable and ones from one the shows piece, that I've watched, and I hope I that you'll enjoy hearing the, about them. Um, Naturally, though, spoil. Flying Island or whatever. Yeah, that's spoilers. probably about as I got, as far as I got. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's another anime I need to grind up, but dude, me scared. too, dude. I'm terrified of it. I know, it's so long. <clears throat> okay, so I think he's about to start his top ten, though. There's a bound. Now, without further ado, let's start counting down the top ten betrayals in See. anime. Let's start off right. with the Black Knights betraying Lelouch. Oh, Lelouch! Honestly, so. <clears throat> yeah, that's I I agree. I don't know if it's number 10. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Um the Lelouch was kind of like doing a bunch of shit to kind of yeah, well, deserve it, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like so it was like oh, uh, it was a betrayal obviously, but it was like almost like it was like self-inflicted. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was kind of like and actually I don't want to Yeah, let's not yeah, let's yeah, I don't want to ruin it for anybody. Kimi no Gias no koto wa agatte iru da. As Code Geass starts moving towards the grand climax, we have one major wrench thrown in the way of our protagonist. In the midst of a high-tension episode, the stakes get pushed even higher when the Black Knights, out of all people, decide that betraying Lelouch is to the best of everyone's interests. In the episode aptly titled Betrayal, we see this scene unfold in a heart-wrenching manner, especially given the context. Code Geass is a series so filled good. with mind games Such and people making sacrifices anime, for a greater dude. god. That one is always going to be in a top 10, for sure. Yeah, so, like, I'll, like... This is one of the ones, like, I'll be saying my favorite animes to somebody, and yeah. someone says this, and I'm like, okay, wait, wait, let me read Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of <laughs> hard, too, because, like, um, if they've already watched, like, good current animes, they yeah. go back and watch something a little bit older. But it, for the time it came out, it still looks really good, and mm. the storyline is so the good. The storyline's ridiculous. It's, like, one of those things... Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, a series filled with gambits of all sorts, and we see the intricacies of such dynamics at play in this episode. Bad. The whole yeah. sequence of events even cost us Rolo's life, and we now remember how much of a gut punch that death felt like. The amazing Oof, thing about this guy's <laughs> yeah, dude, that whole relationship is all messed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Rolo freaking Lelouch. Gias is that impactful moments like this are a dime a dozen. This is barely the strongest it, moment in the show, crazy. in my opinion. Yeah. It's a highlight for sure, but in probably a surprising take for many, I think that this is a moment that gets overshadowed by other revelations. Not because of itself, but because there are so many more amazing scenes and twists in the roller coaster of a series. Now, yeah, let's take a break good. before good. the next one. Oh, that, yeah, that was, that was a good one. Like, that one could easily be in the top 10 for sure, 100%. Yeah entry with our sponsor fiesta online if you're up for a 3d anime oh, rpg that's been going strong for years maybe fiesta online will tickle your fancy staying strong yeah, since 2006 this anime 
test of time. Let's like see each other in Fiesta Online mm -hmm. and have loads of fun together. Let's move from a critically acclaimed hit to another. From Code Geass, we move forward to Madoka Magica. Okay. I don't know this. Funny story, I think I've seen some of this. Oh, really? um, yeah, freaking um, my um, fiance's brother was really big on this anime and wanted us to watch it when we were, we were just oh. binging animes. And I this one is me. actually pretty dark. Really? It's pretty dark anime, yeah. But I, I don't know if I got this far, so I'm probably spoiling Are it. Are we myself. about to spoil it? Yeah. For both oh, of us? it's good. Yeah. <laughs> Who else would the betrayer be than Kyubei itself? You know the. Okay, so this anime is actually, um, like, has crazy animation. Oh, really? Yeah, they kind of, like, go into, like, a, uh, like a, like a warped world. So they have, like, the real world, and they have this, like, warped world that they and go into. And when they go into it, the anime is different. It, yeah, it's almost like, if you were on drugs, you'd be tripping. <laughs> like, like, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of a trippy show. Mommy Death at Episode 3 caught me off guard, but it wasn't in a, whoa, this is one violent series way. Wait, it didn't quite blow my mind, this. despite a lot of people citing it as the moment that maybe quickly not. changed the whole game. It's still a big moment regardless, but I found more emotional stakes when Q-Bay revealed its plan all along. I'm sure some some of you had an inkling that this cute alien thing is a villain, but leading them straight to their doom in a cruel cycle designed with maximum efficiency in mind? That certainly got me. And to add to that, <laughs> Jubei successfully defends its logic the whole time with a set of reasons that in a certain lens can actually be justified. Amazing. Just amazing. To be fair, I think that Homura's scene at the yeah. end of Rebellion was just as big of a betrayal, but I felt that it was more of a betrayal in a meta sense. Hey, if not for the sudden sequel announcement a few months back, we'd be staring at a cliffhanger movie that doesn't have continuation in sight for half a decade too? and counting. <laughs> we proceed with another- Again, yeah, it was pretty good anime. It's kind of creepy and kind of yeah. weird. Um, and I, I can tell it was going to have like a dark ending just by as far as I got. But yeah, that kind of ruined the whole story for me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You, you know what it yeah, is. Yeah, okay. spoiled now. A blockbuster with time yeah. travel shenanigans. Remember Moeka's reveal? Oh, oh my god. Steins Gate. That was a good one. That was good. See, that's another one that, that, like, when people are talking, I have to throw it into, like, the top the five, top ten of my yeah. favorite. Because. I, yeah, a couple of reasons. Yeah, because uh, one, um, animation is pretty good, but yeah. also the dialogue is probably the one of the best. Dialogue so good. Dude. Yeah, and the English dub was actually really good. Yeah, the no, guy that who made voiced, it even better. Um, I think I watched it twice because of that. Yeah, just because of the how good it was in in the English dub. Yeah, the the main the main character's voice um, See, dub I, was perfect. And I don't really do that, and I watch a lot of anime. I don't yeah. watch the Japanese and the English. If I stick to one, I'm just gonna watch it all. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. This one I watch in both. Yeah. That's crazy. I do that too when I really like an anime, I'll watch them both. Yeah. Yeah. Such a good anime, dude. Yeah. Oof. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Yeah, who could have thought that Moeka was with San all along? Not me, and certainly not the characters when- Actually, I did. <laughs> yeah, I did too, actually. She was kind of weird. Like, I just... <clears throat> it wasn't all that surprising to me, but yeah. It, but yeah, it's still, she did still betray him. Yeah, it wasn't like it was still like oh damn like right now right here right now like, yeah what the heck? well because yeah they were learning so much about time yeah. traveling and stuff and yeah. it's like right when they're about to do their first experiment that's when yeah um, yeah she starts pulling this stuff so but, yeah I I, I God that was such a good anime such a good anime so much going on it's insane and she gave her big reveal in a moment that will continue to haunt Stein's Gate fans, but in horror and awe at how well the scene was executed in anime form. Seeing the whole oh, thing unfold yeah, was an dude, experience by itself, it and I think this moment mm -hmm. is one of the peak oh, no. highlights that the series oh, has yeah. to offer. And Moeka is not as helpless as her initial outlook or aura might suggest. This is one battle hardened woman, and she wastes no it's time not showing off. Again. In my, in my clock, it's not, stop working again. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that was like on loop. Man. Yeah. Her chops. <laughs> Poor Mayuri. What I like about this portrayal <laughs> is that Moeka has quite a yeah. lot of sympathizers. That's what's so great about Steins Gate as an anime. It's really all a matter of perspective, and there's really no complete good or bad guy in the series. Despite all yeah, the despicable totally actions, weird. if you look at Steins Gate and its oh. writing, you can see that the whole world is grayer than you would have first thought. Well, it kind of is right here. Yeah, no, there, there definitely is. Like, there is a definitely a bad guy. Yeah, like, but yeah. um, they basically what they're saying is like a lot of the people that are doing all the bad stuff are just manipulated and stuff. Yeah, and so, like, true. But there, Stein's like uh, like or Stern the the like the company. Mm -hmm. You never find all the pieces of that. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna read well, the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah but uh, there definitely is a bad guy for sure. Yeah.
It's more they, they, yeah. Yeah. Helsing finds its way to the list with Walter's betrayal. Helsing, dude. Uh, another one that I've, I've, I've seen around. Yeah, but I, well, I kind of know a lot of the story. This is like, Oof. oh, but. I, we need to Dude, this is it. crazy, bro. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna spoil a lot of these for yes. me. I feel like. Yes, but, oh, we really got people. We out here. We out here. Morita. Damn, man. Go me this. Stress. Damn. Talk about yeah. a slow burn leading to a big reveal. We can't <laughs> tell when Walter's defection to Millennium really started, but we all know that it's in there. Simmering, getting ready until it finally leads to the big moment. Anyone expected Walter to be the guy who allowed Pretty the weird, Valentine brothers to infiltrate cool Helsing style. HQ? Mm -hmm. I didn't. I certainly didn't expect him to be Alucard's final enemy in the OVA, but the foreshadowing is there. It's been there all along. Ultimately, his fear of becoming old and useless takes precedence and pushes Walter to do what he does. Apparently, the only way to overcome that would be to defeat Alucard. Something that didn't end up too well for him. There's light oh, yeah. at the end of the tunnel, though. They say that redemption equals death, and we can see that with the finale of Walter's journey. As he meets his Oof. end, we once again see the nice guy underneath. God, it sounds like this would have been good. Anime. <laughs> That's <laughs> probably a big spoiler. <laughs> oh, no, but dude. Yeah. Hey, man, <laughs> we're in that game. That's yeah. the game we Ujo play. Sama. One Piece is such a long run that it might seem difficult to pick a moment from it. Turns out, though, it's easier oh, than I thought. Piece? Yeah, no, that was another spoiler. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Shiniyuku anata ni. Anata ni wa gakkari sasserareta. No, seriously. If you ask most of the One Piece fans what the biggest betrayal the series has to offer, they'd likely go for the CP9 reveal. It doesn't have as much strength now with the power of hindsight, but boy was it big back then. People now still remember how they thought Gaku would be joining the squad. Oh, how wrong they were. CP9 <laughs> really bided their time. They waited and they waited, and once the opportunity presented itself, they struck and no one, especially Iceberg, saw it coming. Imagine your closest circle all the way to one of your closest assistants being a spy all along. It was a conspiracy for the ages and it rocked the entire one piece community will it continue to hold Damn. its spot as the biggest one piece betrayal all the way to the future who knows i know there are already some contenders but the cp9 reveal Oof. will always be memorable to me okay. <laughs> How about a more recent contender now? Rachel's yeah. betrayal comes to mind. Oh my god. Tower God, man. This uh this has huge potential because we yeah. uh we actually started reading the manhwa. Oh yeah, and dude, it's so good. Yeah. This is this is about to be so good. Yeah, season two is gonna be off the planet charts. Yeah. Charts of planet <laughs> The planet charts of anime. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine you're a guy who uh, really but God damn, Rachel. <laughs> God, we're one of the most hated characters in all of anime, probably. I still hate her, dude. Top five most hated <laughs> anime characters of all time. Next to anime. <laughs> we're reacting to that. Yeah, anyway, she's probably in there. It's so hard for this girl. To reunite Number with this one. friend of yours, you take the unmanageable first step and scale a tower of terrors. Yeah, a tower full of a, dangers dude. and tests. And you could find she's yourself the succumbing to the yeah. horrors within every passing moment. That's how Balm felt. And that's how the story of Tower of God kicks off. Now, unreciprocated feelings hurt, right? When Balm finally reunites with Rachel inside the tower, and after all that he did for her in their brief God. time together, she drops the shocking revelation. You have to die here. Heartbreaking words to hear when you get pushed oh, to your God. death, and that's right after barely surviving oh, a God. fight to the death. It must hurt, but on the bright side, it's situations like this that awaken the strongest character developments and changes in worldview. Whatever doesn't kill you only makes yeah, you dude. stronger. <laughs> Damn. God. Uh, yeah, that was pretty. Uh, pretty uh, I almost want to rewatch that, but. I know, right? Yeah, what a betrayal. Look at her, dude. Added one. Very disturbing news out of Vernon Central High School. What's going on? I guess we'll just skip that. Trying to kill a person who loved you is bad enough. But how about an Oof. entire clan? Paging Itachi Uchiha. Number four. They better top this. 
Yeah, that was, that was <laughs> pretty At this point, big. it's already a given that most people who are fans of Naruto already know of the Uchiha Massacre. It's one of the hallmark yeah. moments of the series that serve yeah, as yeah, Sasuke's yeah. main motivation in defeating his brother. What kickstarted Sasuke's road for absolute power was his brother's betrayal and subsequent massacre of their clan. It's an even more Yo. amazing moment to see play out in anime form, with Toby by his side. God, yeah, that, okay, that, that whole, like, Dude. thing was crazy. Like, the first, when they first talk about it in, like, the first season, they kind of mention it, kind of build up this they, they, crazy yeah. story, backstory. They show, like... And it delivers, like, throughout the series. Small snippets. Yeah, like it, build, like, it builds it so yeah. well. Yeah. So good, dude. That's why Naruto's still one of the best. Yeah. Uh, that's why it's going to be, that's why I said, dude, it's going to be hard to yeah, pop yeah, that. Yeah, Bor Boruto can't really replicate that, because... If um, he puts Boruto in here... <laughs> no, no, no. Like, Itachi began the killing shit. and left no one alive. No one except his brother, who's not even spared from the tortures of the Good Tsukuyomi. Man. What I liked about this betrayal, however, is the eventual revelation that it's not as bad of a betrayal as it was initially portrayed. Part of me still finds it hard to justify what Itachi did, but rest assured, he's not a completely evil guy for doing it. That sound. We move on from one shonen betrayal to another that I feel is an even bigger surprise at third place. Ah, oh, so Bleach, another one. Okay, so out of all the animes I've ever, like... I haven't finished this. Bleach is pretty far. Okay, so Bleach was one of the ones for whatever reason. And I'm, I've watched 120 plus animes. I couldn't get into. For well, whatever reason, I didn't know what it was. I don't know what it was. Well, I think I watched the whole thing, like whatever they had on netflix like a year ago yeah but i didn't go any further than that and i right. guess there's like four more seasons well, now we got... i think i feel the same way about you it's just yeah. hard to be like i want to keep watching it because like the stories might i might give a chance eventually yeah but yeah then it's kind of like one piece but... well, let's, let's ruin it for us <laughs> oh it's probably a huge spoiler. <laughs> what a curveball this was. I still remember clearly watching this unfold, and at that time, I felt that it was genius. Even now, oh, the moment I, still holds up. And the way the Soul oh, Society okay. arc ended Dude, with this betrayal. This is just crazy. Feels... Okay, okay now so I get... you're at least that far. Yeah, yeah. this okay. is brutal. Yeah. So yeah. bright, so perfect even. In the whole arc, we're led to believe that Gin was the villain captain mm -hmm. in Soul Society. Having gone his way to kill Aizen and nearly do so with other Shinigami officers, all eyes are on this sly snake. And he people, completely people looks the part too. To like but turns out the mastermind stuff. all along mm -hmm. was the soft-spoken and intelligent captain who acted like a father to his men. Aizen then proceeds to own everyone before finally escaping, giving Damn. us this iconic shot that's defined much of Bleach during its early years. Overall, it's a moment yeah. that Bleach fans still mm -hmm. gush about to this day. Day, yeah. And for good reason too. The setup's great, the execution's okay, great, and the swerve was handled well enough. Huge spoiler. Yeah, the guy but, ends up being a beast, but he's pretending to not be his beast or something. Yeah, like and then like in the so like, you know, I actually might have seen some of this. That's what I'm saying. I think yeah. you have. I think you have. Yeah. But um, it's sick. It's sick. On to the next. <laughs> the, these seasons are the place, seasons that make you want to watch it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. Oh, second place attack on Titan. The funniest thing I about still this, don't okay, think the, the number four though, when the, when she, uh, was over the that one for Bleach. This is that one's good. Yeah, no, I disagree with some of the yeah. the order. Um, but for all all these are pretty good betrayals in general. This is nasty. Yeah, this one was really funny though because when I first saw this in Japanese, yeah, or when I was reading the manga, I can't remember what I read first or seen first, but I remember I was like when he's like, "Hey, so I'm the armor Titan, and this is the this is the colossal Titan." We're gonna, you want to come with us? And I was like, wait, what, what, what happened? Am I missing something? Like, just he just crazy. casually tells him? Yeah. But, yeah. Go for Reiner and Bertolt. <laughs> God, Attack on Titan is definitely like oh. it's, it's in a top ten by anime for sure. Like, oh, for sure, yeah. for and sure. probably like top four. Like yeah. it's 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 up there. This is definitely like rivaling yeah. the Naruto. I so sure. like because I I watched some of this with uh, with our dad, and yeah. then I watched some of this with my uh, fiance, and so I basically rewatched it like three it's times. Surprising how dad loves this. It's show. I get glued. <laughs> I get glued. Yeah, no, yeah. it's good, bro. So good. I'm gonna rewatch it. 
Remember those big, burly titans <laughs> that are so iconic due to the role hey, they played at the start this? of the story? <laughs> what if I told you they're actually some of the best mentors and brother figures Eren could have within the ranks? Annie was but a preview. The reveal of Reiner and Bertolt being some of the most important titans, narratively speaking, was something that completely turned the character's world upside down. What made this moment shine for me was just how well it was executed in anime form. You can feel the tension building up as the two were on the roof with Eren and they start to talk. You know that something big's about to happen and you don't want to accept it, but they just keep going on. <laughs> then the music hits a yeah, crescendo right and even though you want to deny it, the inevitable happens and all hell breaks loose. This is truly a moment that showcases the excellence that is yeah. the Attack on Titan anime. It blew my mind in manga form, but the anime just took the moment up an entire notch and gave me an experience that I will never forget. Yeah. I basically said, yeah, that's, yeah, that's kind of what I was saying, point, yeah. Man. I was like, whoa. See, even just that part, I was so glued into that. <laughs> yeah, I better rewatch that. Like, when I first saw I was like, okay, did I miss something? Like, whoa, how, did, yeah. how, how did this happen? <laughs> 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 It started as a tough yeah. call between second and first, but I'm oh, firmly man. with Griffith's betrayal for number one. Oh, sir. <laughs> God, That's a good number one. This this is so brutal. Like the manga is way worse, but this is brutal, and it's a good one. I do. I love That's a Berserk. good number one. Berserk is yeah. one of my favorite animes. So yeah, I can't argue with that. But uh, Tachi killed his whole family. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my beef with it. Uh, but it's hard between. The, it, I think this is almost worse. He killed like his like band of brothers. You know what I mean? Not like only oh, he that. doesn't he doesn't know like. Tasha doesn't know everybody in the clan, you True. know what I mean? Not only that, he's planning on doing more. Yeah. If you thought Aizen and the Rhino Bertolt reveal were game changers, wait till you see what too. Berserk has to offer. How could any Berserk fan forget this moment? Mm. Good portrayals have to be game changers that turn the whole perspective of a show upside down. The strongest portrayals come from our protagonist's dearest allies, and for guts, I could only imagine how it felt to be betrayed by the leader of the Band of Falcon himself. The most iconic moment in the eclipse comes when Ooh. Griffith finally succumbs to his emotions and gives rise to the Lord of Darkness. Femto's descent is met with rightful fright from both the characters and the audience. The whole sequence yeah, is the stuff this, of nightmares. Like, and we all know how screwed hell? Guts and Casca would have been had it not been for Skull Knight's timely arrival. Even yeah. though most Berserk adaptations were pretty it's underwhelming, I feel the movie adapted the eclipse that, really too. well. The 2016 series was a disgrace Brutal. in terms of animation, but this one, <laughs> even with all the CGI, I thought was done pretty well. Yeah, so this is an old anime, and I was gonna rewatch it, like, because they made these movies that are a little more 3D. Wait, they and, have movies? Yeah. They so, made the whole anime in a movie? Yeah, so there was like, it came out like the 90s originally. Then they had some movies that came out in 2012, 13, 14. Oh, damn. And they kind of look like this animation. Say no more. And so I wanted to watch it <laughs> that way. But then uh, when 2016 came out, remember it looked like the Sega Dreamcast? Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. Pff, I hated that. <laughs> a lot of people hated it. Yeah. Um, I still watched it. Yeah. I just don't know why they went that route. I looked yeah. like it was it would have been more expensive and time consuming anyways. I don't know what they did. Yeah. They, they should have just stuck with what they had. But. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, good. So which betrayal impacted you the most? Comment below and let that me know. If you enjoyed good, the video dude, for number one, yeah, I'm not, uh, you you can keep that up there. But yeah, it was, dude, he loses his arm and eye, and like it, it was just so brutal. Like, cause he literally loses everything in that. Moment. Yeah, yeah, you 100%. feel the pain like that you've never felt before in your entire life. Your guts. Oh, if you guys liked the video, hit that like button, subscribe. Yeah, uh, it's like got a long one. Yeah, that was a long one. Uh, a lot of good animes though, and uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. If there's other videos uh, of these like top tens, let us know. Throw them our yeah, way. Leave it in the uh, comments. Uh, comments down yeah. below, and uh, we will catch you guys in the next one. Naughty Brothers out. Oh, Naughty. Naughty.